Welcome to IG Motors. Today we are going to talk about one of the most powerful and advanced missile defense systems in the world. This is the SM-3 missile, deployed in the Aegis Ashore system. From US. Navy warships to permanent land installations, this missile system is playing a critical role in modern defense strategy. Let's begin. The SM-3, also known as the standard MISSILE-3, is not your average surface-to-air missile. It is designed to intercept short-to-intermediate-range ballistic missiles by hitting them in space during the midcourse phase of flight. Unlike traditional missiles that use explosive warheads, the SM-3 is a kinetic kill vehicle. It destroys incoming threats by colliding with them at extremely high speeds. We're talking about speeds over 15,000 miles per hour. When it hits its target, the sheer kinetic energy is enough to destroy the warhead. The SM-3 was originally developed for use with the Aegis combat system aboard U.S. Navy ships like Arleigh Burke class destroyers and Ticonderoga class cruisers. The system uses the powerful AN-SPY-1 radar to detect and track targets, along with the MK-41 vertical launch system to fire missiles. However, as threats evolved and the need for stationary, ground-based defense systems increased, the Aegis system was adapted for land deployment. This version is called Aegis Ashore. Aegis Ashore brings the exact same capabilities of the sea-based Aegis system onto land. It includes the SPY-1 radar, the command and control systems, and the vertical launch cells to fire the SM-3 missile. The goal of Aegis Ashore is to provide missile defense coverage in areas where it's not practical or necessary to deploy a full-time naval presence. The first operational Aegis Ashore site was established in Devesalu, Romania. It became active in 2016. Another site is under construction in Poland. These systems are part of NATO's European Phased Adaptive Approach, which is focused on defending Europe against missile threats, particularly from the Middle East. By placing these systems on land in strategic locations, the US and its allies can intercept missiles much earlier in their flight paths. Let's understand how the SM-3 missile works. Once an enemy missile is launched, the SPY-1 radar detects it almost instantly. The system calculates the trajectory of the incoming missile and sends targeting data to the SM-3. The missile is then launched vertically from the MK-41 cell. It exits the atmosphere and enters space, guided by onboard thrusters and updated target data from the ground station. The missile then releases its kill vehicle, which uses an infrared sensor to locate the warhead. When it gets close, the kill vehicle adjusts its course and collides with the target. This impact is what neutralizes the threat. No explosives are needed. The collision alone, due to the speed and precision, is enough to destroy the enemy missile. There are several versions of the SM-3 missile. The SM-3 Block IA is the original version with basic capabilities. The Block IB includes improved seeker and guidance systems. The most advanced is the SM-3 Block IIA. This version was co-developed with Japan and is larger, faster, and capable of intercepting longer-range ballistic missiles including some intercontinental ballistic missiles. The Block IIA has already been successfully tested against ICBM-class targets, which makes it a major asset in the U.S. layered missile defense system. It is not just designed to protect deployed forces or allies in Europe or Asia. It can also play a role in protecting the U.S. homeland from long-range missile threats. Aegis Ashore has become a topic of international attention and sometimes even controversy. Russia has claimed that the system could be used offensively. Because the MK-41 vertical launch system is theoretically capable of launching cruise missiles like the Tomahawk. The US insists that Aegis Ashore is strictly defensive and only configured to launch SM-3 interceptors. Despite these debates, the strategic importance of Aegis Ashore cannot be denied. It provides a stable, high-readiness missile defense capability without requiring a ship to be stationed nearby. 
It also gives allies more confidence in U.S. defense commitments and enhances deterrence against potential missile-armed adversaries. The mobility of the system is limited compared to a naval destroyer, but what it lacks in flexibility, it makes up for in reliability, coverage, and constant readiness. Future developments may see Aegis ashore integrated with other systems like TOT or Patriot, creating an even more comprehensive defense network. In conclusion, the SM-3 Aegis Ashore system is one of the most reliable and tested components of global missile defense. By combining advanced tracking, powerful missile interceptors, and strategic positioning, it offers unmatched protection against ballistic missile threats. Whether on sea or on land, the SM-3 continues to evolve and defend against modern challenges in missile warfare. Thank you for watching IG Motors. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the SM-3 Aegis Ashore Missile System, make sure to like this video, share it with friends, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the world of military vehicles, defense technology, and strategic systems. Until next time, stay safe and informed.